Hi, this is Scarlett Nelson coming to you as a married woman. Yay! Um, we got back from Nelson Bay uh, on Sunday, so we've been back a couple of days now. Um, the wedding was beautiful. Uh, we got married on the beach at Nelson Bay. Um, it wasn't too sunny, so uh, it wasn't too glary. Um, yeah, it was it was wonderful. It was myself and my husband, Jeff, uh, our daughter and her wonderful nanny, Lorna, uh, and a girlfriend of ours, a really good girlfriend of ours, Lou. She's a celebrant, so she married us. Um, perfect. Really lovely. Um, so, yeah, I'll take you back. Um, last time I posted uh, this a, a video post, um, Ada had been sick. We were quite worried. Uh, she, ended up, she ended up being fine. Uh, her chest ended up being clear, and we went to, we drove to Nelson Bay um, that night. Anyway, I came down with it. Uh, so we had three days before the wedding, um, and those three days I was in bed. I got out for, I think, the afternoon. I was still feeling a bit dodgy. Um, the afternoon of the day before the wedding, and then that day before the wedding, Jeff came down with it. Uh, he's just a trooper, so he managed to pull through. He was great for the wedding and the day after. Um, I was, wedding and the day after were amazing. Like, we um, had this beautiful wedding and then had this lunch, um, just a quick kind of like, light, bright and breezy lunch. And then we drove to Hunter Valley and we stayed at this, uh, like a vineyard um, with these little villas on it. it was, ours was like a Balinese style villa, couples villa, and at a plunge pool. I uh, felt like we were in Bali, and a day bed outside, and yeah, all Balinese furniture, and yeah, it was just so nice. So Jeff and I partied by ourselves for a couple of days there while Lorna stayed in Nelson Bay with uh, Ada. They were sending photos through of them having fun the whole time. It was so cute. Uh, yeah, they had such a good time. Um, and we went to a nice restaurant the second night and just spent some really lovely time dancing and talking and loving and all the things you do on your honeymoon. Uh, so on the next day after that, um, it was time to come home. Uh, and then I got sick. <laughs> like, really, really, really sick, like vomity sick. I started vomiting and then I got a urine retract, urine retract infection. Um, yeah, so I was a bit of a mess. So we're driving back from uh, Hunter Valley to uh, Nelson Bay and stopping off along the way, dropping bags of vomit in different bins along the way. I was like, it was full on yuck. So I was thinking maybe it was a hangover or did I have a big hangover really feel that way and what was wrong with me. Uh, so anyway, it lasted like two days like of me the vomiting uh, I started to get quite worried about it so that was the last two days so it was I was sick for everything every day but the wedding and the day after so I guess if it had been any other two days those are the two days you'd want to be well for so we've got some beautiful pictures um, happily married woman great couple of days but actually a little bit disappointed with the rest of the trip um, so I kind of need a redo. <laughs> uh, I think it's because I've actually been to the doctor this morning and I think because I mentioned previously that I've dropped a lot of weight since I um, gave birth and I have a feeling that it might be a stomach ulcer because I'm just not hungry. I go through stages where like I just don't want to eat. I'm not trying to starve myself but I'll have like a meal, one meal a day and that'll kind of satisfy me as well as, well as chocolate because I a bit of a chocoholic, hot chips, 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 and hot and chocolate, they're kind of my vices, but like as in meals go, like one meal a day will do me, and then I'm kind of full for the rest of the day, so I think it might be a stomach ulcer, so that might be why I was vomiting as well, um, and I'll be feeling a bit off, so when I had this like, breathing test thing, we don't eat, you don't drink water, and you don't brush your teeth, and then they take this little tablet, um, um, I forget what the tablet's called, but and then 10 minutes later you blow into a bag and then they, they test your breath uh, to see if there's, if there's any sign of something that, this bacteria which lives in ulcers in your stomach. I think that's how it works. But anyway, I still find out Thursday what the results are. Um, 
Yeah, so that combined, combined with um, the UTI yeah, it was, hasn't been fun, as well as the fact that our honeymoon was me in bed, vomiting. Feeling a little bit like of a wedding come down, I think. Like a bit like, oh, that's it, really. So a little bit sad. Um, we are doing, I'm having a hen's party after, so I'm kind of doing it in reverse. That'll be in February. My girlfriend's organising that for me, so that'll be nice. And we are having a, like a wedding party in New Zealand, where my family is, and also one in the States, where Jeff's family is. So that's some things to look forward to with the wedding. And I get to wear my dress again for the um, New Zealand one, and we'll, we'll see how we go with the one in the States. But So that might be in in April, in, um, at Easter time was what we're thinking. So it's something to look forward to. But yeah, I don't know, I'm sure even if the wedding was amazing, um, even if it was just like out of this world and we invited all our friends and family, I'm sure when we got home I'd be feeling a little bit sad as well that it was all over and done with. So maybe it's not just the fact that mine didn't turn out, ours didn't turn out the way that I really, really wanted it to, that um, maybe that's it. But um, it would just be like that anyway, because it's such a build up. All, all the things you need and all the love and all the like you know just thinking about how wonderful it's gonna be and then when it's over it kind of leaves a bit of a hole and we are uh, you know yeah. so um but my kitty cat's happy to have us home she's yeah very very sucky at the moment so I'm um, on the Ada front she is just started crawling like on Sunday night she started and then she's been non-stop like she's chasing Bella the cat up and down the hallway, she's into her food, which is, we've got to figure out a way to stop that. Uh, yeah, she's playing games with her dad, like Jeff lies on the ground in one end of the lounge room, puts a little toy on his forehead, and then she crawls from one side of the lounge room to the other, grabs it, and then he goes to the other side and then grabs it, and so that's quite fun. And this has literally happened a couple of days ago when she started, and now she's just on the move. So that's, that's really neat. Um, and she's chasing, yeah, so she's chasing Bella, so Bella's not too impressed with that. I think we're gonna have to do, make a few changes, like put Bella's bed up on sort of higher and put her food somewhere, or get one of those little fences to put in between um, the, like, just to block off different areas of the house, so at least Ada can stay um, in, like, the lounge room without having to go close to Bella's food or litter tray, even worse, like, blah, blah, blah. So, um, yeah. You know, also just like to do a shout out for our nanny, Lorna, who is an absolute star. Like, I actually think her and Ada had a better time away as a whole, apart from the wedding day and the day after. They've had a better time than we did <laughs> because we were in bed sick. Uh, well, I was in bed sick majority of the time. Jeff was in bed sick a few days. Yeah, so Lorna and I was taking Ada out, them all around town, meeting everyone, having a great old time. Came back with stories and sending photos. So, yeah, that was um that was pretty cool. She's a star. I don't know what we'd do without her. So so nice having her there and to be able to look after Ada. Like if again, if I was that sick, having to look after Ada, I guess I'd be able to have to do it. But it would be really hard. Like I couldn't stop vomiting. Ugh. Imagine having to look after a little baby who's crawling. Well, she wasn't crawling then, but you know, you kind of get it. Like, she's quite demanding when you're that sex, not a good thing. So, uh, yeah, that's it for now. Um, married woman, again, the wedding was beautiful. Uh, we did feel a bit sad not being able to share it with our friends and family, but we are now planning our New Zealand and American and hence party. So, yeah, that's it. So I will see you, have a good week, and I'll see you next time.